All right, so get ready, because today's deep dive is a doozy. We are talking social media, cyberbullying, the music industry, and uh, all through the lens of Jelly Roll. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting because this goes way beyond just one artist's experience, right? This is like a microcosm of what it means to chase fame in the digital age. Okay, I'm listening. You've definitely piqued my interest with this whole digital age pressure cooker thing. But let's start with Jelly Roll himself. He kind of blew up X, formerly Twitter, recently, when he basically said he was done. Oh, yeah, he did not hold back. Saying it was just too toxic. He called it the most toxic negative app to exist. But but see, here's the thing. You might be thinking, okay, another celebrity complaining about social media. What else is newer? But I think his point about X being a consequence-free zone for just meanness, well, a lot of people can relate to that. Right, and that's what I'm wondering. You know, like, does Jelly Roll quitting actually do anything? Can artists even stay off these platforms these days if they have a big following? It's tough, but it's bigger than just him, right? You included his wife, Bunny XO's podcast in the sources, and she got really candid about how this stuff has affected him personally. Yeah, she was talking about on her Dumb Blonde podcast how people go after him for his weight. I mean, even if he doesn't always show it, that stuff cuts deep, gets to the heart of why this is such a big deal. Totally. People assume celebrities are immune to this. Oh, they're rich and famous, sticks and stones. But it's almost the opposite. The more visible you are, the more vicious it gets, you know? And she even brought up that statistic about how many people every year are actually driven to suicide because of bullying. Makes you realize this is not just online drama. It's serious. Yeah, no, that's that's heavy. And then you think about someone like Jelly Roll, right? I mean, we know he struggled in the past. Addiction mm -hmm. issues, his parents dealt with similar stuff. It, exactly. It's not like he's coming from some place of privilege where he doesn't know hardship. This guy's been through it. So that just adds another layer to why this whole cyberbullying thing and him quitting X hits different. You start to see a pattern, right? Like, this is someone used to facing challenges head on. But to understand what Jelly Roll's at, we need to rewind a bit. 100%. Gotta look at where he came from, right? He's been incredibly open about struggling with addiction, and his parents had their own demons, too. But, you know, that leaves a mark. And you included his early run-ins with the law, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking possession of marijuana, yeah. even robbery charges. Makes his success in music even more incredible when you consider all that. Oh, for sure. And speaking of success, can we talk about this guy's resume? CMA Award for New Artist of the Year. That's like the top of the mountain in country music. Three CMT Awards for Son of a Sinner. Two Grammy nominations. It's mainstream recognition, no doubt. But here's where it gets even more interesting. He's still calling out the very industry that's embracing him. Which is wild. He could just play the game, enjoy the ride, but he isn't. Nope. And he's so open about his past, even with all the success, like talking about going to Alcoholics Anonymous, even saying on the Highway podcast that his first meeting was when he was 14. It's like, he's letting people in, you know? No pretense, just realness. And it makes you think, like, the music industry often wants a very different image. Yeah, it's almost like he's using that platform he's built to kind of chip away at that facade, show yeah. everyone it's okay to not be perfect. Exactly. And he's reaching people from all walks, too. His music's country, it's rock, there's hip-hop, genre bending, it's raw, it's authentic, and that hits hard. Speaking of authentic, though, things got kind of cryptic with that post he made about the music industry. Oh, you mean where he called it slimy and was going to expose something? Yeah. He mentioned rapper Russ, right? who, if I'm being honest, is known for speaking his mind about the industry. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is where it gets really juicy for me because Russ has made some pretty bold claims about how the whole machine works. Like, he's saying a handful of people hold all the power all right. that labels are using fake streams to make their artists look bigger. Wait, fake streams? Even writing it off as a marketing expense. Can you believe that? Okay, you're losing me a bit. Fake streams, break that down. So picture this, right? Bots or some other shady method, artificially inflating an artist's play count on Spotify, Apple Music, all that. So they rise up the charts, look like a hit, but the real fans might not be there. Are you serious? That's like <laughs> rigging the system. I never even thought about that side of the charts. It makes you question everything. Right. If people are climbing based on fake numbers, where's the fairness? Tough for artists playing by the rules. So where does Jelly Roll fit into this? He seemed to back Russ up, but hasn't said exactly what he'll expose. Million dollar question. It's like he's hinting at some shady behind the scenes stuff he's not cool with. This is going to be good to watch unfold. Will he name names? What will yeah. happen to his own career, especially now that he's hit it big? The ballsy for sure. He's walking a tightrope, right? 
huge success on one hand, but biting the hand that feeds on the other. And that's what's compelling about him. Yeah. Doesn't shy away from the tough stuff, even if it ruffles feathers. Almost like, I'm here, I made it, but I'm not going to shut up. There's a fearlessness there. Ah. I think it comes from his past, everything he's overcome. Could be. Look, the guy stared down his demons, came out on top. Maybe that gives him the guts to speak his truth, even when it's risky. And it's not just negativity, right? He's talked about his faith a lot, too. Right. In that Fox News digital interview, he said, Faith was a lot of me believing it was going to work out for me, and God had a bigger purpose. It's like, maybe that faith is driving him to push for change, even in the system that made him a star. It's like he's got this platform now and feels like he's got to use it. Right. Not just for himself, but for others who don't have that voice. Yeah, and that's where it gets really interesting. When artists use their platform to actually, you know, say something important, millions of people listening, starting conversations, that has the power to change things. Which brings us back to, like, the heart of Jelly Roll's story. What does it all mean, right? We've covered a lot of ground here. The dark side of social media, the pressures of the industry, this incredible story of, like, personal strength. It's pretty wild when you put it all together. And I think what makes it so fascinating is it's not just about you know, making it or even surviving tough times. It's about using all of that, the good and the bad, to shake things up. Yeah, to say, hey, you don't have to play by the rules to achieve your dreams, especially in music, which has so many of its own rules. Yeah. He's found success, but isn't afraid to, as they say, bite the hand that feeds. And that is huge, especially for up and coming artists. It's like he's saying, you can make it on your own terms. You don't have to sell out. Well, this has been quite a ride, cyberbullying to musical stardom with uh, quite a few twists and turns along the way. Definitely shows you that nothing is black and white. Even industries like music, which seems so glamorous from the outside, have their own struggles, challenges, real people dealing with real stuff. And maybe, just maybe, if we're willing to share those stories, the good, the bad, and the ugly, well, maybe then we can create a space where people feel safe to speak up and demand better. A hundred percent, because staying silent only helps the people who are already on top. Gives you a lot to think about. That's what I love about a good deep dive. You know, you don't just get information. You get a whole new way of seeing things, understanding the world a little bit better.